Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Sal Mahajan, and in today's video, we're going to be taking an overview related to Amazon Time Stream. So let's dive right into the video. So let's start off with what is Amazon Time Stream? It's a fully managed serverless time series database that is normally designed for um, IoT and operational applications. It is optimized for storing and analyzing time series data. So if you have any time series data that you're looking to store and also maybe analyze, then TimeStream is the service for you. It is scalable and a cost efficient service. And another pretty sweet thing about ta Amazon um, uh, TimeStream is that it is integrated with SQL uh, to help you query your time series data. And uh, some more things now, when it comes to the architecture of a time series database, you have three main things. The first being your data ingestion, wherein it supports high velocity data ingestion from various sources like IoT devices. Now, um, high velocity is a keyword you should uh, know over here that IoT devices have a lot of data that they do process or capture. So it does su supports high velocity for data ingestion. Then you have data storage. You have two types of data storage. Either um, it can be a memory store or a magnetic store. Memory store is for you know the recent data that is pushed into time stream um, that provides you very fast access. And magnetic store is for historical data, maybe, you know, data that is, um, you know, uh, 10 days old or 20 days old can be stored on a magnetic store, um, historical data with very low storage costs. And then finally, we have the third part of the architecture that is your query engine. Um, the query engine is actually um, optimized for complex queries on large data volumes. So in general time series data is considered to be uh, considered to be large volume data and a lot of complex queries need to be done so you can write complex sql queries to query your um, amazon time stream database so let's quickly head over to the aws console so i can show you guys a quick overview related to uh, time stream Okay guys, so as you can see, I am here on the AWS dashboard. I am on the Amazon Time Stream dashboard. So um, you can basically go ahead and create your Time Stream database from here. There are, uh, There is a free tier, but it is only free for live analytics and not for the influx DB. So according to your use case, you can choose live analytics or influx DB. Most of the people would stick with live analytics. And of course, if you are learning, I would recommend to stick with live analytics as again, it is also free. So let's quickly go ahead and click on create database. It's going to, um, you know, uh, be like, do you uh, your database configuration? Do you want to go with the standard database or do you want to go with the sample database? So let's let's quickly take a look into both of these configurations. First, being the sample database, you can provide any name that you wish to. And you can say you want to create tables with sample data. So either you want, you know, IoT data, IoT sensor data, or you want some DevOps data. And you can also choose the type of time series records. It could be multi-measure records or single uh, measure records, and you can quickly go ahead and create your database. So as you guys can see, this hardly takes um, 30 seconds to create a sample database. So you can quickly create a sample database to play around and learn more or test your use cases, or you can create a standard database where, and again, you provide your name, you provide your encryption. Do you want it to be managed by AWS? Then it would be AWS time stream or something else. And then of course you can choose your tags and you can just quickly go ahead and click on create database. Now you can see in the sample DB, it, are, it would have ingested data for you, but over here, it does not ingest any data for you. You will have to go ahead and create your table and ingest data according to your use case. So that's pretty much it about um, Amazon Time Stream. It's a pretty straightforward process on how you can create a time series database on the AWS console. So I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, do subscribe and do comment if there are any other topics out there that you guys would like me to cover. I hope you guys have a great day ahead. See ya. Take care. Bye bye.